Um, public safety is very important to me personally because I have friends and family who work in law enforcement and who are uh, fallen officers of our Chandler PD. Um, so keeping our residents safe is a top priority. And that means keeping our law enforcement well equipped with the resources they need to um, need and deserve to attend to our ever-growing population. You know, out of, outside of two council members, it's been troubling to watch the leadership not responding to the needs and asks of our police. Recently, there has been movement to provide some resources, but it has not been at the ask. As your council member, I want to ensure that we provide all of our first responders with what they need to do their job safely and efficiently. I would like to provide resources to recruit and retain officers, have specialized responders to deal with mental health, substance abuse, de-escalation, and community policing tactics, as well as making sure that our physical and mental health of our first responders is being taken care of well into their retirement. Thank you. Thank you. Farhana, same question. When we claim Chandler is a safe city, it's because of our law enforcement, because of their hard work and putting their self at risk every day, day and night out there in the community. So what I get to hear, because that is not my area of expertise, I seek opinion and counseling from the active duty officers. And what I get to hear, our city can do better. Not, not at the way it should be totally expected by the citizen. This is the best situation we have, but our city at least progressing in that manner. But uh, what I found personally is the needs and the changes of the direction of the people's habit and also how we um, do the resource allocation. Those are the very in-depth steps are um, part of this law enforcement issue too. It's not just like how many police are we need, how many we don't have, or it's not just how many police are at the street or we don't have. But hopefully, um, when I would be in the council with your support, I will be able to bring all the stakeholders together, have an open dialogue, assess the situation, and find the proper solution. Because end of the day, Chandler is the best city, or USA is the best country in the world because the law and order. So we need to back, support, and say thanks to our police officers and Always remember that they're just like us, but they're taking extra risk to keep us safe. So giving back to our officers is our community effort. That's why they work great in Chandler. Thank you. Jane Poston. Well, I'm very proud to be endorsed by both police and fire. Um, that is something I, I am incredibly proud of. I, I do believe we are a safe city, but I believe that we're a safe city because of the dedication of those police officers and of those firefighters. And they work in hand in hand with all of the departments in the city, our neighborhoods, departments, our public, sa our, our public transportation. They all work together to ensure Chandler is safe. However, I do know that the pandemic exposed some gaps um, and some of our police officers specifically are very tired. We don't want tired police officers. We want them to be able to go home and enjoy some time with their families. We want them to be paid well. We want them to be treated well. Um, they have, both police and fire, have a very risky job, and we need to appreciate what they do. I have been working actually hand in hand with the Law Enforcement Association to bring this issue to the forefront, and I am very <coughs> glad to see that council is, um, after some time, finally making some efforts to um, improve our recruitment and to move forward with some pay with police officers. Right now, recruitment is the major issue that we're dealing with, so we want those other officers out there or the new officers to understand that Chandler is a great place to work and treating our police officers and our firefighters well is a way to signal that. Thank you. Councilmember Orlando. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm too proud that I had the endorsement of both police and firefighters. Um, I've worked uh, many, many years in that particular arena for, for supporting our public safety. Um, so it's a three-part process here. First of all, you need the authorization to hire more police officers. 
We have to identify why we have to identify we have a shortage, and we did do that. Then you have to hire them, and then you have to find a way to pay for them. So um, last April, I got so frustrated that I put this agenda item on the council back in, in, in April, and I had a, I forced a conversation. I did not like doing that, but it, sometimes you have to make a tough decision, a tough call. And I had the chief got up here, and we had over 250 people in this audience and overflow, and he described what he needed to make this city safer. He needed 45 police officers. We hired, 20, we hired 25 right off the bat, and we have a plan to hire an additional 25 to 30 over the next year. As the mayor indicated earlier, we hired an additional eight more this year. So that's the authorization. The problem is hiring. You know, Tempe needs police officers too. So we're grabbing their police officers, they're grabbing ours, Glendale. So we've expanded that scope of effort, and you'll see that in the next couple of months, the next couple of weeks as we, we roll this out. We have an aggressive re recruiting program going on in our city that'll take us nationwide. This is an envious place to live and work. So we have to continue. So we will have an incentive program. And then finally pay for them, you buy down the pension fund. We spent over $124 million to buy down our pension fund. That'll free up $9.3 million of ongoing dollars. So we have the authorization, continue working that. We're gonna go out aggressively higher, and then we have a plan to pay for. Thank you. Darla Gonzalez. It's always hard to follow this guy. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Now, um, public safety is number one for me. There's, we all know that there are um, border crossings from known terrorists and people that aren't being vetted and there's fear and our police are facing situations they've never had to face before and um, there's a homelessness increase um, so we're, we're asking our police to police and be mental health experts and to know all of these things and i feel like we really need to make sure that they're supported with all of the resources that they need money staff uh, mental health access. I sat through a budget meeting the other day and the chief uh, had his ask to the council. Um, I think it's important to have uh, close communications and relations with the chief and with the association, making sure that we understand what the needs are and that we're meeting those needs. And if we have to reallocate resources, we reallocate resources. But we all want to feel safe um, and we all want our kids to be safe and we all want to have a quality life and and just dream big right so we just let's just keep supporting the police in any way that we can um and i look forward to to meeting with the chief and with the association president to find out how we can uh, work together thank you okay